Hey guys, it's Kate, and today I'm going to be doing a huge Sephora haul. I have so much stuff from Sephora. Only some of this was sent to me, but I bought all this myself with my own money. This is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to show you guys everything that I got because I'm so excited. And I'm going to have some first impressions out for you guys. Um, on the products that you would like to see me do first impressions on. I don't want to chit chat because I feel like this video is going to be long. So let's just get right into the video. Cover Effects sent me four things. They sent me the Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation in N25. They sent me the Illuminating Setting Powder, which I really, really like. I've tried this before. And they sent me their Custom Cover Drops in N20. Um, so I can make a foundation that is a little bit too dark for me. I can make it because this is a pretty light pigment and I've tried this multiple times and let me tell you this is hollow grail. Oh my god honestly I can not even I love love this stuff okay you guys if you guys don't have this go get some and get and like the best part of cover effects is they're cruelty free. So, of course, I just had to have this. The last thing that they sent me was the Illuminating Primer. I really, really like this as well. It sets, like, almost immediately. And it blends really nicely, and it goes under the skin, and it is not silicone-based. So, it is awesome. It is clinically tested, paraben, fragrance, gluten, mineral oil, and talc-free. And it is also vegan. So, that is absolutely amazing. So thank you very much CoverFX for those lovely gifts. The next thing that I bought with my own money was the Kat Von D Lock and Load Makeup Setting Mist. I've used this every day for, I want to say a week now. And honestly this stuff is amazing. Like this, my makeup does not budge. And I, like I, man, my face sweats a lot and my makeup just melts right off. Not when I have this. Not when I have this on, let me tell you. Nuh-uh, this stuff ain't coming off, let me tell you. The second thing that I got was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette. And I'm actually wearing all these shadows on my eye today. And, oh, like, one word. I have, I literally have one word to describe this palette. It is... Pigment. Oh my god. Like these shadows are so pigmented. <sighs> and they're so beautiful. Like these colors are honestly gorgeous. So the next thing that I shall already seen in a video, it is my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And I love this palette and pigmentation is amazing, the quality is great, and it is totally worth the money. Next thing that I got was this. NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the color Light 3 Gobi. This was the last one at my Sephora. Um, so I just decided to not let somebody else have this and I bought it. So if I don't exfoliate my face before using this, it does cling on to my dry spots around my nose. So it is like every other foundation that I wear, so it's not a big deal. But I actually love, love, love this foundation so much. It is a little bit light for me at the moment because I'm tanned, but if I wasn't tanned, then this would be perfect. In the winter, this is going to be perfect shade match. The next thing that I got was this, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Adored. I love this blush so very much. I haven't really gotten the chance to use it much, but I love it. The next thing that I got was this NARS Orgasm Blush, and I love this, and I'm not a big blush girl, but I wanted to, I really wanted to try this, so I got it, and I absolutely love this. Um, I apply it with my Sigma F50 Duo Fiber Brush, because it picks up, like, just the tiniest amount of blush, and it just gives such a natural blushed face look. The next thing that was NARS that I got was this little eyeshadow in nightlife and I didn't buy it because it was pigmented because it's not pigmented but I bought it so that I could for when I do smoky eyes I could put it on my lid to make it shimmery and sparkly it's not pigmented um, well it's not very pigmented but it, it literally is just sparkles 
but it's just sparkles, so I just bought it to be sparkles on top of a smoky eye. The next thing that I got was this Urban Decay Shadow in Flash. It is... I can't open it. <laughs> it is like this vibrant purple color, and I am absolutely obsessed with this. I haven't been able to um, create a style that looks good with this, but I have a feeling it's going to include a smoky eye. The next thing that I got was this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in just an original. I just got the small version because I've never tried this before and I don't know if I was going to like it or not because I really like my Too Faced um, Shadow Insurance and I've never tried this so I just wanted to try this so I just got the small one. The next thing that I got was this Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in Lolita and I got the Studded Kiss Lipstick in Lolita because they just were not restocking the Lolita in the liquid lipstick. So I just decided, like, I am so tired of waiting. I want that color. So I just bought it in Steady Kiss. And it is this beautiful it is the beautiful color that it is. So once it becomes available in the liquid lipstick, I'm probably gonna get it. Because I feel like it is a little bit different. I feel like the Steady Kiss is a little bit different than the liquid lipstick, but I'm not too not not too sure. <laughs> The next thing I'm so, so excited for, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal, and I'm going to be getting a Champagne Pop, but I got Opal because I wanted more than one, and yes, I was very surprised as well that Becca does not test on animals, so that is amazing, and honestly, I'm wearing this on my face today, and if you, <gasps> it's gorgeous thing that I got was from First Aid Beauty and it is their facial radiance pads and I love these because the guy at Sephora put this on my face before he was putting on the NARS foundation and it just took away all the dead skin around my nose and I have so much dead skin because my skin is so dry and flaky and disgusting so I just used these before I put my makeup on and my face looks Flawless. I just really, 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 really recommend these for extremely dry skin like me. Um, so yeah, so try these facial radiance pads if you have extremely dry, flaky skin. Next thing that I got was this Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and I got this in the shade Vanilla. I actually just filmed a first impression Friday on this video, and you guys will be seeing this in like see this on Friday. Next thing that I got was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I've been wanting to get this mascara for so long and I finally got it. Why can't it open it? You know what? I'm gonna go from the bottom. God damn it. It's not opening. So I got this mascara <laughs> I haven't tried it yet, and I am so, 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 so excited to try this. I actually got just a little sample of the Too Faced La Creme lipstick in the shade Naked Dolly. I have this on my lips right now. It's so cute. It's like the perfect nude for my skin tone, and it is so creamy, and I'm definitely going to buy the big version once I run out of this little tiny, tiny little guy. The last thing that I got was a beauty blender, and honestly, <laughs> I cannot believe that I spent $26 on a sponge. I was that person that was like, like, that's so stupid, why would you pay $26 for a sponge? Here I am, spending $26 on a sponge. But honestly, <laughs> honestly, I think it is totally worth the $26. Um, it blends my makeup flawlessly, it makes my face look flawless, and honestly, it's totally worth it. This is going to last me forever. And once it does start to get all gross and nasty, then I'll just have to buy another one. <laughs> it's definitely worth the money, and I love it. So that's it for my haul, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that was a lot of stuff. I know this is probably a really long video, um, but I'm going to crop it down to, like, nothing, hopefully. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed. And before I go, I want to show you this app that I just recently got. I got this app called Lucky Day and um, what it is is it's a completely free app where you can earn real money. Like you can earn real money. An app! On a free app! You use the code that I have down in my description box you can get five free credits 
which you can play the slots, the lotto, or the scratcher, and you can win real money. Make sure you check out that code, download this free game, put the code into, you have to go to your settings and then press have a lucky code, and then put in the my code right there. Gotta do that. And then you will get five free credits to get money. And if you're wondering how to get the money, um, from this app to your PayPal account, what you have to do is go to your settings and then go to um, view profile and then click your wallet and then there will be an option to choose PayPal. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Make sure you check all the discount codes in the description down below and follow my social medias and I'll see you guys on Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.